All right, a little late, ready to get warmed up. The stars have pierced the sky He left them all behind We love to wonder why He left us all behind Hey, Miss Murder, can I? Hey, Miss Murder, can I? Make you stay if I Crash won't pass. Oh, how they all adore him. Beauty will last when spiral down. The stars that mystify and left them all behind. And how his children cry. He left. right there all right forever and always don't expect the legends to be anywhere but uh, i'm representing i'm in the house i'm around the house it's hotter than a motherfucker all right i don't care what part of the country you're at it's hot as a motherfucker out there for sure so uh we're gonna get going summer breakout baby 2024 double elimination tournament so glad we brought this back and that's me, and that's Mr. Brandon Brandon. Hey, Brandon Brandon. I'm, I can get it. <laughs> Mr. Brandon Brandon, make a match. Oh, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, so we got, we got a hell of a show. We really got a hell of a show. Uh, we're pumped. We're ready. Orlando, Florida in the house. 13,000 ready to kick it off with us. Of course, the hit smash, breaking the Billboard Top 200 worldwide, baby. Summer Breakout by our very own Callie Edwards. And uh, unfortunately, we had a whole fucking thing going. That's on your boy. I couldn't finish the production checklist. All right, so at the very least, what I'm going to do for you right now, all right, is I am going to sing the theme song to Summer Breakout 2024 titled Summer Breakout. 
Callie Edwards on the backing track. It's a bop. It's a bebop. I hope you guys enjoyed. I just made this decision because uh, we're not getting the show intro. Uh, you know, I'm working on the video. Uh, I found out putting this show together tonight that Callie Edwards has the, yet to arrive to the locker room. So I had to make sure. Let's just say I had to scoot along Callie Edwards. Uh, are you here? Are you ready to go? Yes, Callie Edwards is here tonight and ready to go. She's kicking off the tournament wrestling second. Of course, the All-Star Championship on the motherfucking line. Kicking off this show. This double elimination tournament, by the way, folks, is to determine the number one contender for the Global Sport Council All-Star Championship. Perhaps, I mean, definitely bigger than the King of Games as far as the World Championship goes. I don't know exactly. That's, that's for the pundits to decide. But, ladies and gentlemen, right here tonight, Starting the show, Violet Rose will defend for the 10th time. Unprecedented. It was unprecedented at Slart. It is unprecedented here tonight. The prize at play, the Global Sport Council All-Star Championship, will be defended against Beulah McGillicuddy, the next named challenger. And the winner of this tournament faces the winner of this match at Full Nelson for quite possibly the richest prize in Global Sport Council. Fuck yeah, dude. So I'm going to uh, get the song queued up. Ms. Ms. 99 Violet Rose. No, <laughs> she's not a night. I fucking, you know what, man? Uh, I don't know. I promised a picture. I, I, you know, this is a fair match. This is a fucking fair match. Published. Summer Breakout. One thing, Udio.com. Chat GPT. And my own, my own direction and creativity. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna give it a go just because, huh? Yeah, man. All over the charts. You wanna hit up Twitter.com or X X.com to get to Twitter. Oh, um, this has been all over the place, Cali Edwards. That's what I'm talking about, baby. What a jam, and what a time! What a time to live in. Yeah, I'm singing. Everyone, sing along at home. If you know it, chances are you do. Sun's up, cruising in cheek, wind in my hair, feel the heat. Beach vibes, waves crashing, life's a dream, feel so sweet. Party lights, neon nights, dance until the break of dawn. Hooking up, laughing loud, singing our favorite summer song. Flip flops, shades on, ice cream melting in our hands. Bonfires, starry skies, making memories on the sand. Every moment, living free, got the world at our feet. Summer breakout, living large, life's an endless sunny street. Let's go wild, feel alive, summer's here, we thrive. Break out! No holding back, we're ready, rising up, hearts beating steady, champions in the making. No mistake in summer! Break out! No holding back, we're ready, rising up. Hearts beating steady, champions in the making. Dreams we're chasing, summer break out. Put up your Cali Edwards emotes right now if you're a subscriber. Beach balls, volleyball, everybody's in the game. Sipping cool drinks, sun kissing, nothing ever feels the same. Skimming waves, catching rays, living in a summer haze. Competition in our eyes, got that wanna win craze. Running fast, jumping high, training hard beneath the sun. Tournaments on the way, we'll show them how it's done. Every step closer now, feel the thrill, taste the fame. Summer breakout, we're the best. Gonna make them know where go wild. Feel alive, summer's here, we thrive. Break out, yeah! No holding back, we're ready, rising up. Hearts beating steady, champions in the making. Dreams we're chasing, summer. Break out! 
No holding back, we're ready. Rising up, hearts beating steady. Champions in the making. Dreams we're chasing. Summer, break out. Come on out there, y'all know the words. What a fucking, what a day, what a day. Under the moonlight, dreams ignite. Whispers of victory feel so right. Heartbeats sink, stars align. In this moment, ours will shine. For real. Break out! No holding back, we're ready. Rising up, hearts beating steady. Champions in the making. Dreams we're chasing. Summer, break out! No holding back, been ready, rising up, hearts beating steady, champions in the making, no mistaken, summer, break out, break out, yeah, break out, finish it, big finish. Folks, want to give a big shout out to Callie Edwards for putting that one. Oh shit, Rudio's still rolling. Yo, I can yo, that's the new Starks one. Let's just roll with the Starks right now. Let's get into the action, maybe just a little bit. We'll just let this go. We'll just let this go. All right, man. Like I said, we are kicking things off for the All Star Title. Ten. Final defense, Violet Rose versus Beulah McGillicuddy, my man. That's how we're getting going. And then, my friends, the summer breakout begins. The first round is determined tonight to get things off Callie Edwards. Thank you so much for the summer breakout theme song one-on-one -on -one against Reverie Rolston. And Brandon Brandon's heart has never been so torn before. Oh, man. Such a great catchy song, I did great with it. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't read the words. Edwards and Rolston, that's gonna be a fucking battle. And speaking of battles, we seen this a few years ago, but ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about one of the most feel-good tag team stories in this era of professional wrestling. Madison O'Grady and Marissa Cardinale, the bitterest of enemies in season one, coming together to claim undisputed gold in the Global Sport Council Tag Team Division. The titles they never lost. They went once against the Divas of Doom, but some chicanery prevented a clean matchup. I am sure they want to get back to that radio station someday here, but they're going to go one on one. Who's the best of the two? It's always been a back and forth, a trade off with them. And that's what made them such a great tag team. Tonight, they get it on. Yo, Hyper Night Raven, what's up, man? Feather friend, the third and third champion, wave any world, pecking at buttons, stun burn, binary feather flies by from feather friend at spiteful artistries. What's up, spiteful artistries? From the nest atop my chamber door, quote the raven forevermore. Thank you so much for dropping by. Spiteful artistries, if you're here too, welcome the summer breakout tournament to determine the number one contender. And Jesus Christ, one moment, fucking. That's still so goddamn loud. That's the new Starks. That's the new Starks roll called Rock and Roll Life. You get that wherever you get your music, of course. All right. Continuing with the first round action with John De Harrison one on one against Raven. Of course, these two ladies, new recruits, so to speak, new applicants, new signees for season four. These two ladies, more than a lot, have made an indelible impression in season four action. I'm excited to see for the first two, for the first time, these two ladies go about it. They're both three wins, one loss. Of course, both these ladies moving up the championship glory attempt. Both ladies losing their respective divisions. We're gonna see how it goes down right here tonight. Brandon, Ben Lannon, and Caleb, new music. Caleb, let's go. Let's go with Caleb. Ah, oh, man. Oh, shit. This is the theme song to Full Nelson. Man, alive. I'm going to have to turn this shit off. All right. I got to turn that off. 
I knew where I was supposed to no, no more sorrow, no more pain, no tomorrow. Oh man, that's gonna be that's gonna be a goodie. That's gonna be a fucking goodie, guys. I'm not even joking. All right, we should be good here. I uh, just need the game sound up. Honestly, that was a good idea, just playing all my audio creations. Sound. Fucking options, man. Thank you. Sound mixer options. It's all. It's all I need. All right. I guess I should stop complaining. About fifty. And look at spiffy. <laughs> So what am I supposed to do? Roll a do. Now what you're supposed to do is get to the main event of these proceedings here tonight. The implosion, the explosion, the insurrection, and the big erection of a new California collective continues as Dave Meltzer seizing world title power over Kevin Nash, man. Making this new group, whatever you want to call it, Whatever you want to call it, the collective, the California, whatever Dave Meltzer wants it to be. Well, man, you know, he's starting to sound like he knows what he's talking about. Mercedes Monet was promised this spot. Months ago, this tournament has been waiting to happen so Mercedes Monet can get in right here. The main event, one on one against the California Collectives, Shotzi Blackheart. Unsuccessful, yes. For the all-star title, that was not her night. Double elimination rules apply. Let's get fucking rocking, man. The summer breakout continues tonight, perhaps tomorrow, but we gotta run it. Full Nelson is in four weeks, my man. Holy shit. So, uh, your boy might be putting in a little OT. Right now, my friend, we're gonna crank this shit up to 11. Violet Rose, you wouldn't have expected, all right? You wouldn't have expected putting up the all-star title at Slaughter, all right? That's her ninth and a record. She breaks her own record here tonight. The most defenses in a single championship reign in Global Sport Council history. This Violet Rose's 10th championship defense against the next name contender, Pula McGillicuddy, a woman that has raised the profile of so many in Global Sport Council, not even getting into what brought her to the dance in ECW. But if you want to talk about ECW, why don't you ask Beulah where she got that outfit? And maybe you want to ask her how exactly she got all the fucking blood off it when she bludgeoned and beat Bill Alfonso to within an inch of his fucking life. Beulah is that bitch. Violet Rose, <laughs> god damn. The greatest champion in Global Sport Council today, perhaps in history, to carry the torch against these next eight challengers vying for the opportunity. Or will Beulah McGillicuddy put an exclamation point on her role in Global Sport Council season four? Woo, let's go. Beulah forever. Of course, I'm, I'm, I'm voting for Byla Rose here. I'm rooting for her. <clears throat> Thank you. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the Global Sport Council All-Star Championship! When I said 13,000, I may have been, uh, <laughs> I may have been a little uh, generous in that assessment. Here comes the challenger, the named challenger. That was a unanimous decision among the executive leadership committee. Before we determine what the prize was for this tournament, we determined that Beulah McGillicuddy would be next in line for the championship. One time, render wrestling champion, one time holder of a million bucks. One of the stronger win-loss records over the last two years. Her debut in season four is her biggest opportunity to date. Her chance to break out, so to speak. Break out. Now hold them back, we're ready. Rising up, hearts beating steady.
Violet Rose, for the 10th time, walks the aisle as the Global Sport Council All-Star Champion. In her last 11 matches, she has 11 wins and zero losses. Her last 10 matches, her last 11 matches rather, were championship matches dating back to 2022. If you think she's got attitude for no reason, you're sadly mistaken. She done broke out. That's what it's about right there. The All-Star Championship. Let me introduce to you the challenger from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Beulah McGillicuddy. Why do they cut her short? And her opponent from Scott City, USA. She weighed in today at 176 pounds. She is the Global Sport Council All-Star Champion, Violet Rose. This capacity crowd looks to be about 800, 900 perhaps. Taking over Full Sail University since WWE left it to create the Capitol Wrestling Center. We're here in Orlando, baby, Full Sail University. You too can do this. Just go to Full Sail. I'm not lying. Oh man, for the big belt. I don't have the stopwatch ready. Here we go. Add one second on. These two ladies go for the richest prize in their division, perhaps in the whole league. Look at this! Back and forth and dosey do. Great position, catches, catch can, wrestling, manipulating the situation to throw that kick. Now perhaps getting ahead of herself is Violet Rose. McGillicuddy sneaking a pin and a cursory, a cursory one count. DeVry over Full Sail. I went to a DeVry equivalent. Actually, I went to a shittier DeVry uh, in downtown Pittsburgh. The International Academy of Design and Technology. It was, it was a scam. <laughs> I went there. It was not good. It was not good. So I'm going to have to get full sales. Oh, Violet got her hand up for the first one. Oh, there you go. Slap her in the face, too. You're going to have to bring the fight. Your presence alone does not dictate the championship. Beulah has to move, she has to groove, and she has to attack. Now, over the past 30 seconds, she's been effective. Got Violet in the corner, there you go. Gave her the opportunity and snuffed it. The opportunity to rest that is. Little Pippin, there you go. Beulah, utilizing the old women's style. Hair pulls, slaps, cutting it in with those Philadelphia fucking fists. Sent her off the ropes, back elbow, nice block. Gonna get caught up on though by Beulah. Now back, Violet up over the top to the apron. What a right by McGillicuddy. There you go. Oh, no, Violet just took that ST plunge. She's down on there. Beulah will fly to the floor. She's saying, start the count, ref. Why? You're jumping. She got all cross body all the way to the floor. Safety be damned. What a die from Beulah McGillicuddy. Violet attempted to make good out of it, bringing the fight, trying to get back and forth on the outside. You can recover, but the damage is done after a move like that, Violet. Got below up, will barrel hold into a neck breaker. Oh no, on the outside. Great power and control. And that one inch mat, rep to five. Rose taking it back in. Like I said, the five. Up and over, Beulah getting a jump on the action. Series of shots, kicks, gonna cut Rana. Taking Rose down now, this is legit, into the pin. A third cut Rana, get two, get two. And Violet Rose, two and a half minutes in. Absolutely rocked by McGillicuddy. No ring rust, a speak up DDT. Raven effect, DDT, the dreamer. DDT, count two, oh! Violet Rose, reaching deep to roll her far shoulder, her near shoulder rather up. Two, and not a lot of change left over. They're out the lefts and rights now. You're gonna have to do something. You just got rocked for about two and a half minutes straight, Violet. Oh no, just dropped her on her face. 
Pain is a pain, it'll be a rope break. You saw Beulah go for the ropes, she said, no, let me show you my strength. I'm not sure you should have played it that way. You saw her reach for the rope, she had it. Double arm wrench, old school. Father Rose bring a little old school here with the double arm wrench. I haven't seen that this season. Beulah in the corner, Violet. Taking, sh oh, look at this, oh no, the poly hammer. Violet Rose, the baseball bat swing off the top, now big time elbow drop from about 10 feet. A towering elbow count two to the, oh man. And McGillicuddy out rather at two. Great run by Violet. Look at this knee, oh no. Oh, I don't think McGillicuddy was ready for that knee. Rose now. The end in her sights to retain. Oh! Wants to put the stamp on it. McGillicuddy fighting from underneath. There's another slap. Roses rock. Keep going, Beulah. Carnival tie up. Other plans. There's a hair pull. What a snap back. Violet Rose forced that take. McGillicuddy, look at his cravat in the ropes. However, you can get it. Wherever they run, you gotta get them. Don't let them sit. Don't let them rest. Nice, conserving energy. Little double footsteps right there. John up, big time right hand, and right back, right back is Violet Rose. Stunder, oh, back suplex toss. Yes, she's got about 40 pounds on McGillicuddy. And got her up, look at this gut wrench. This big gut slam. Oh, and McGillicuddy's out at one, out at one. She said, fuck your shit. Five minutes elapsed. In this match, oh no, short back suplex. This match, one fall to a finish. Oh, oh no. Laced her. Tyler Rose just laced the Gillikai with those short kicks. Rose now, oh, with a head of steam, there you go. Violet Rose taking control of this match with Gillikai. How can she fare in the, oh, oh, you see the impact. You see the sweat bouncing off. Rose here, it could be a formality. No, not quite. McGillicuddy catching the kick. Show 10 on display. Back and forth counters. Both women blocking a kick. Violet Rose, another attempt. Big time, body slam suplex. Look at the hold marching down. McGillicuddy rolling to the outside. Oh, what a move. What a move. A little bit of rest. Violet Rose, go fly. Seems. Trust me on that. What a dive by Violet Rose. Like I was saying earlier, you can't let him run. You have to get them. And Rose. Oh no, might be too much. Oh no. McGillicuddy proving why she's a worthy opponent. Violet thought she had it. Spectacular, yes. Effective, definitely. But the Huntsbuck, the endurance, the show tan. The fighting spirit is what I'm trying to say of Bela McGillicuddy. Oh man. Now when she's getting beat up, if she comes back from getting beat up, Bela, you need to get in this match. Cause your number's only gonna get called so many times. Oh no! Backlit German suplex on the outside. John Doe says you gotta get it in. All right. Violet's listening to that. To five? Yeah, let's get it in. This time, look at that, Rose back in the ring, unimpeded. Eula McGillicuddy in a bad, bad way. What's Violet got here? Oh no, there it was, there it was. The suplex knee there, count two, could be all. It's all, it's all folks. Violet Rose took it for about four straight minutes on Beulah. Of course, Beulah Gray, her cut run. Look at this, boom! There was some other shit. Show Beulah's cross body to the floor. That was awesome. She put it up. But in the end, the winner, and still, the Global Sport Council All-Star Champion, Violet Rose! Everybody that you will see here tonight, take notice. A double elimination tournament to get 
to that at Bull Nelson. Her 10th championship defense successful. The streak continues. The reign continues. Give it up for Beulah. But when the water got deep, it was Violet Rose's game. 159%. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. And she's here. And she's here. And I want to say, I want to say this. Like, with the approval of the Executive Leadership Committee, I would like to announce that WrestleMania that season, WrestleMania season, comes very shortly after Paul Nelson. And I am happy to announce that the Royal Rumble will be a women's Royal Rumble. And the main event of WrestleMania will be for the Global Sport Council All-Star Championship. Sharpen your knives, ladies. Let's go. I'm hotter than a fucking bitch in this goddamn room. Let's keep it rocking. Let's keep it rolling. Callie Edwards is back. And I don't know if you saw it on the dark web, but Callie Edwards has been hired by the California Collective, brought on. Yes, there's money involved, but this is the big leagues. Of course there's money involved. Callie Edwards now the legal secretary for the California Collective. She will essentially, as legal secretary, she will essentially absorb all the duties and responsibilities of Dave Meltzer. Everything that Dave Meltzer left behind in the California Collective, Callie Edwards is willing and able to do. Thanks for coming, Dave Meltzer. I hope this whole thing works out for you. Callie Edwards is a big star. She's been a big star since the word go. A former, a former global sport champion two times Oh man, will we see the step over headlock or does Callie Edwards have a new trick in the bag going one on one against the hard throb of this year, eh, Commish? Miss Revy Rolston. And if you are Commissioner Brandon Brandon, there are no losers in this match. But we're all rooting for Callie. Welcome back, Callie. Faux show. All right. All right. Nice. Did a little training in the off season. No bell. I fucking forgot about the bell. The following contest, thank you, is scheduled for one fall, and it is part of the opening round of the 2024 Summer Breakout Tournament. Approaching the ring first from Scuff City, USA. She weighed in tonight at 157 pounds. Callie Edwards! Now I hesitated to say that she represents the California Collective. I want you to give that blessing, of course. But uh, she's looking good. Great outfit. Looking tough, and I can't say. This is, this is the same chick on the Summer Breakout poster. Just for the record, all right? That is the same shit. She's part of the group, representing the California Collective, Kelly Edwards. Are you done yet? She must represent the Cali, the fucking California Collective. From Scuff City, USA, fighting out of Hollywood, California. She represents the California Collective, Kelly Edwards. Enough time to introduce her three times, my man. Come on. At least give her some pyro or some shit. I don't know. Oh yeah. And her opponent from parts unknown, weighing at 139 pounds, Remy Roasted. You know what kind of jags me off though? I love the Alistair Black, Malachi Black, Alistair Black. 
uh, entrance piece. Why do they have to have the platform in it? It's supposed to be obscure. Don't put it there. You know, it's the game. Just saying. I'm not, that doesn't take anything away from every Rolston. Don't, I mean, you know, don't get into it. Look at the assets here. I'm talking custom. Custom assets, many. Look at the hair, look at the trim. Okay, that is a that is a full on face. This is a person named Remy Rolston. Okay, the inspiration, of course, can be evident, but in so many. Look at that, that's a lot of work going into that face. That's what's up. What about Remy Rolston, Brandon? Oh, she, is she part of the collective too? All right. Thank you. Yep, yeah. Oh, she's gonna sit. Oh, yeah. Oof. It's pretty moody. Not gonna lie. She's got Moxie. That's what I'm getting out of that. She's a friend of the collective. She a friend of Callie Edwards. Not tonight. Referee Jane Doe calling for the belt, and the summer breakout tournament is on. Oh no! A dragon suplex, and I mean a full-on dragon suplex to kick things off. Callie Edwards leaving herself a little vulnerable to kick things off. There's a lot of collar and elbow tie-ups in the previous era. I will say that. This year, yeah, we don't do that so much anymore. Kind of pisses me off, to be honest. Callie going for a jump of some kind. Yeah, Rolston's like, bitch, I don't know what you're trying to do, but eat some knees to the bread basket for your trouble. Rolston, two wins, one loss this season. Oh, there you go, nice. RVD style kick off the top rope. A seek and destroy little missile there. Edwards tried to move, but well tracked by Rolston. Yeah, and Edwards just getting tapped on. Just getting tapped on here in the opening moments of this match. Look at this, look at this. Don't let, why are you letting her do all that? Why are you letting her do all that the knees? And the knees, and Revy's like, ha, you're done, bitch! You're done! All's fair in love and war. And while, according to the collective, these two do love each other, this is a war. All right, this is for the richest prize in the league. All-star title. Oh, God! Oh, oh, Cody! Cody Cutter! Into the pin, Rolston down for two! First the disaster kick, then the Cody Cutter. Callie Edwards, maybe doing a little off-season training uh, with Cody Roads. Nice drop kick to the side of the dome of Revy. And Callie, for the first time, trying to get some momentum, trying to get some steam pumping in this match. Full Sail University, rooting it on, wants it to happen. Rolls it at the pass, short cutter, oh, the pullback dragon! The pullback dragon! Right off the cutter, Callie Edwards in trouble. She is in trouble, man. Reaching forward, nice. Nice mare. Nice mare takeover to counter out. Kick to the gut, Edwards. Look at this, double arm trap. Straight jacket, neck breaker. Like the old days, pinning combination. High stack pin, count two. Roast it out. Deep two at 222 into this match. Edwards still on it. There's the arm again. There's the arm again. Like Callie knew, hey, that's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do. Punches and bunches, man. And Callie says, I'm back. Bring it on. She will fly. Springboard. Her come right to the outside. Oh, man. Oh, man. These chicks busting it out. Short DDT on the mat. Oh, man, dude. Callie Edwards. Check out Callie Edwards on the ring skirt right there. He, that's her. She's on the show. Oh, that a nice left landed like a like a print shot. Oh, her to come around. And Reverie rolls the man. She made it bump her head on the ring post. Tornado. Oh, miss. Miss with the tornado. She's been trying to put a kill shot on the outside. To six now. All right, we are to six, ladies. Rolston putting the fight back on. Short leg DDT. To seven, will Rolston move it back into the ring or is she trying to sneak one out? 
Emotions are running high in this first round match. Oh, got her from behind. Pump handle. Oh, man. Pump handle flatliner by Remy Rolston. Show you where her bread is buttered out. Buttered at right there. Nice variation of the flatliner there. The bitter end. Pump handle flatliner. Rolston to that top here. Perhaps a moonsault. Yes! Rolston with the moonsault to move on to the winner's bracket count two. Ah, oh, Callie Edwards out at two. Not quite yet. Not quite yet, says Callie Edwards. Look at that. Making some space. Callie blown up, I bet you, right now. Oh, oh no! Rabbit just ran her. Right to the outside. No rest for the weary here. A trip to the winner's bracket awaits one of these ladies. Oh, black mass kick! Rolston can take it right here to move on to the winner's bracket! That's three! Rolston! Popped her! Popped her with it! Let's take a look back. All right, first, Pompano flatliner very nicely executed. Now look. Boom! Callie Edwards going for the knee. Beautiful counter. Saw her opportunity. Seized it. The winner. Wait a second! Wait a second! Are the street profits here? What the fuck is going on here? Remy Rolston. Remy Rolston victorious. The winner of the match by pinfall is Remy Rolston. Remy Rolston joining the living legends, perhaps. Who knows? What a bummer. Edwards isn't done. She moves to the loser's bracket, my friends. All right. Here we are. Here we are in the summer breakout bracket. Rolston moving on to the winner's bracket. Callie Edwards taking a little spill ski. Unfortunately for her. Bing. All right, there we go. All right, everything is as it should be. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and move on to our next match. I'm gonna grab a beer too. Yeah. As you can see. Oh my god, the fucking bell. What a show. I think it was my first one. We got Madison O'Grady versus Marissa Cardinale. As you've seen on the brackets, our second first round match. O'Grady and Cardinale, they got some history. We talked about it at the jump. I'm gonna grab a beer up, be right back. We're gonna load, we're gonna load on in. We're gonna load on in. We got, we're late. We're already a day late. We're a week late. 
We're a week late. We gotta get moving, man. So I'm gonna grab beer. I'll be right back. Hydrate. Hydrate. Just for the record, this is not the theme song of Summer Breakout. It's not, it's not awful, but I couldn't imagine this being someone's entrance theme. Okay. okay. Who is this? Let me just take a quick opportunity to remind you all that this show is partially brought to you by Bud Ice, the big one. All right. Have you been? You've been working all damn day. And it's time to not do that anymore. Reach for a nice cold Budweiser. All right. And that's only because there ain't no Jenny Ice where I live. I can't get no goddamn $1 Jenny Ice. I can't even get a $1.50 Jenny Ice. I got to get these motherfuckers three for $4. Now, all things put together, that's a dollar thirty-three per beer, and it's a double beer. It's a higher alcohol beer. Uh, but uh, you know, I feel like Brock Lesnar. I'm gonna drink a Coors Light because Miller doesn't want to pay me or whatever the fuck that was. I've been out in the sun. I've been out in the sun a long time. It's the summer breakout, and I broke out today. Woo! It's hot in Orlando, baby. Let's keep it going. O'Grady Cardinale. What else can I say? Oh. <laughs> Plenty. I could even repeat myself if I wanted to. Let me get that bell ready. All right. The following contest is the second first round match in the Summer Breakout 2024 Tournament. Approaching the ring first from Scuff City, USA. She weighed in tonight at 169 pounds. Madison O'Grady. Madison O'Grady, as well as being one half of the legendary tag team known as Madison and Marissa. Okay. She is the only female king of the ring. She's the only queen of the ring. The only one. An eight-person tournament. A double finals situation. She won that. She did parlay that into a shot at the All-Star Championship like a million years ago. And uh, one and only. Oh, God. Death Rebel can kiss my face. Fucking <laughs> penile hood. Let me introduce you to her opponent, though. Also from Scuff City, USA. Weighing in at 172 pounds. Marissa Cardinale. Everyone likes Marissa Cardinale. I don't, I, you know, I don't want to default this show into some, you know, Jerry Lawler puppies or something this is a legitimate question were marissa cardinale's boobies this big at slaughter that's I, I, that's a for real question she's a sex pot she operates as a sex pot uh those are her legs underneath all that mess you know what i'm saying she does it on purpose <laughs> I think they did get bigger. What the fuck is going on? Here we go. The first round continues in the Summer Breakout Tournament. Old rivals turn not best friends, but best tag team partners. Love lost between these two here tonight. 
Some mixed feelings, but I guarantee you these two ladies could center in on the, comp the competition side of things pretty quickly. Both of these ladies, look at that springboard. Great springboard by O'Grady. Both of these ladies had high aspirations in the early days of Global Sport Council. When we consolidated way back in 2021, these two ladies fought to the very end. It's, I mean, these two and like one other fucking dude, like Andre Miller, you know what I'm saying? You don't come back from the dead so easy. Cardinale and O'Grady are gonna make the most out of this. And O'Grady, given O'Grady, Cardinale giving O'Grady the most, those knees in the corner. Look at, oh, dang, oh no! Oh, that that's with the damn heel of her boot! You see Cardinale got some inches on her heels here. All the girls are enhanced in this game. It is, yeah. Yeah, uh, no, I mean, they are new representations of themselves. I will say that. Kick to the shin. Watch Cardinale here. Oh, no! Oh, no! Canadian Destroyer a la Penny Williams. And it must be 2024 because a fucking Canadian Destroyer got a one count in a first round match. Oh, you talk about killing the business. Fuck, man. That's an oh, a knee by O'Grady. Uh, something like the goddamn Canadian Destroyer should have been protected like the one-winged angel. Everyone can do it now, by the way, so it's whatever. Cardinale running back and forth just to get a punch to the guts. Looking at O'Grady, looking to turn it around. Got her up. Nice. Oh, put her down with a right hand. This little fireman's carry popped her on her feet. There you go. Oh, no, with the lefts, you get better contact with the right, O'Grady. I'll tell you that. And here we go. Now, we've seen these two against the Divas that do. Cardinale with a breakout, a breakout performance. O'Grady, I don't know if it was nerves or what it was. I don't think, I don't, you know, the match was fucked. There was fuckery in that match. O'Grady now, two and a half minutes in, go for the pin out of one, as I would expect. I think Cardinale, you know, been ready. Oh, Grady was ready, but uh, could not perform. This, oh man, nice backstabber by Cardinale. And she's been wanting to hit that for a long time, I guarantee you. Out at one. And both of these ladies, you know, uh, the pacing of this match a little slower than we've seen in the All-Star title match. Series of shots, chops to the chest. Cardinale backing up. Didn't attack fast enough. There you go. Oh, Grady coming. Series of clotheslines. Catches the kick. Step through. Nice. Back trip. Cardinale down. Oh, Grady. Not taking too much time. It's a nice kick to the head by God. Kick to the head. Oh, man. It's a thrusting boot wash to the face. If we could have caught that from a side angle. Cardinale trying to retreat. All right. There you go. Snuck one in on her. Taking O'Grady down. Cardinale quickly to the top rope. What are you doing? What are you doing, O'Grady? Standing there. Oh, man. Oh, man. I missed time. I missed time by O'Grady. I paid for it. Simple chop off the top. Doing the damage, though. Back to a neutral position. These two legs. Oh, what a thrust kick. Huge, huge. Yakuza yeah, style kick. Taking out Cardinale. Will get two. Oh, shit. Holy shit. What a kick by O'Grady. With a full head of steam. I want to see this again. Boom! Full head of steam. 20 foot run. Throwing it in her face. Her eyes are closed. She is done, Steve. The winner of the match as a result of a pinfall, Madison O'Grady. Congratulations to Madison. Marissa, you look great out there. You wrestled well. O'Grady. I'm not saying the rivalry is settled, quote unquote. But on this night, O'Grady was better, and she proved herself. She has more juice than Marissa, but this season, based on her first performance, really put a pet put a spotlight on her tonight. Uh. And she did the damn thing, son. O for three. Who I wanted to win thus far. Man. I'm sorry. It's not over. It's not over. The Sex Pot Chronicles will continue next week, my friend, uh, if I may. 
Alrighty. Madison. No! Is the winner. Moving on down. We'll face Revy Rolston when we attack the second round of this tournament. Marissa. Boom, boom, boom. Take this. The Sex Pot Chronicles will continue as Callie Edwards takes on Marissa Cardinale. Now, Callie, I didn't think was too sex potty, even though she was part of Toxic Attraction last year. Um, she's coming out, and I don't want to say enhanced, but um, I, I think she's putting that thing out a little bit more this year, which seems to be the prevailing motivation for a lot of women in this new era uh, to say. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not, I don't make all these people. The, these are real people that send their people to me to feature. Callie Edwards is a real person. That's it. Madison O'Grady is a real person. That is an avatar of a real person. Okay? And I don't think I've said it. I don't think I've said it for a long time on the show. It's very relevant. It's very relevant. All right? These, these are real people. All these people are real people. They care about this. They want to be in this. And I mean professional wrestling. Professional wrestling. If I'm able to give a platform to these people, that would never, never, ever, 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 ever have a real life pro wrestling platform, I'm happy to give it to them. I'm happy for Madison O'Grady here tonight. I'm happy for Marissa Cardinale. She showed out. It's gonna continue. I'm looking at the wrong camera. I forgot I'm over here. God damn it! I God damn it, man. Yo, Zach is here. I'm just gonna go ahead and say. Embrace your dreams and whatever happens, protect your honor as a shiny star champion. These eight ladies trying to become a shiny star champion, Mr. Fair. All right, let's uh, let's go. Let's uh, let's go here. Uh, oh God, that reminds me. Did anyone see Apollo Cruz teaming with motherfucking Baron Corbin on SmackDown against Angel Umberto? Angel and Berto? What the fuck was that shit? And I'll say one thing. I'll just say one thing. For one, like God of Del Fantasma, great group of people. I hate their song. That's that's uh that's prevalent in the whole WWE promotion, whatever. Angel and Berto joining, that's fine. There were Lotharios and everything, that's good, but you can't call them Angel and Berto. Alright? That's Angel Garza. Angel Garza, who's generational, and Humberto Carrillo, who's also generational. These are real life people. You know, Angel Humberto, eh? And a motherfucker! His name's Humberto! Let's keep moving. Can we move along, please? Can we keep this going, please? Yes. Yes, we can keep it going. These two ladies, the both of them, brand new talent in season four. LaJonda Harrison and Raven. <laughs> Raven and Raven. Okay, both of these ladies coming over in the new era, season four action, never seen before. Well, at least on a worldwide scope. Making quite the name for themselves, making names for themselves. Both of them, one loss in title action. They just started in the business. This is an opportunity for them, the captivating audience. They compete well. And I'm looking forward to a competitive match. Harrison and Raven right here, let's go. Let's, let's, uh, uh, let's fucking uh, go, guys. the lens it's the blurring of the lens in the background it's it's like the mirrorless camera 
Yo, the following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is the third first round match of the 2024 Summer Breakout Tournament. Approaching the ring first for parts unknown. For parts unknown. Until it's updated in the spreadsheet, I'm not exactly sure, but she went in at 183 pounds. LaJonda Harrison. Good for LaJonda. Made her debut. I think the, the second or third. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Jesus Christ. LaJonda Harrison, folks. That's LaJonda. She's doing good. Now, you want to talk about watching, watch the kick? Watch those fucking heels in the kick. You will get your shit fucked up, but quick. All right. And her opponent from Parts Unknown. I, I just need to stop saying from Parts Unknown, and I apologize. But she weighed in at 180 pounds, Ethan. Raven. I was thinking about putting Raven in the cult with Otis Lee and Raven, and we could have Raven and Raven. You know, get some mixed, uh, some mixed match challenge going down here, you know. This music is not, uh, good. It's not the best, but Raven does well. She does well for herself, so. Don't hold it against her. Harrison, Raven. Here we go, referee John Doe about to call for the bell, and here it is. Both these ladies meeting in the center of the ring. Harrison, quickly in control, series of clotheslines, not a lot of beef behind that. Ducks one, Harrison, rip court, nice drop kick. Heel first, by the way, right to get things going. Well, it was a good sequence. It was a good sequence. She says, just hold on, you're gonna see more of that. Tries to go off the ropes. Raven with a slap in the face and a springboard of her own. Well, we, 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 got, we got heels on both sides going now. Kick to the head. Duck by Harrison. Nice duck. Now got a rip cord to tap again. This time with the elbow takes down Raven. With Jonda calling her both time. Moving quickly from the switch. A headbutt. A series of headbutts. Hold on to the hair. Perfectly legal in this league. Yeah, that's gotta hurt getting your noggin knocked like that. What are we doing here? LaJonda Harrison. Oh man, a surfboard stomp to the knees. I didn't know if she was gonna actually go for it. A very difficult, difficult hold. The Mexican surfboard. Raven getting the, sh oh man, just getting the shit kicked out of her here. What are you doing, Raven? There's the heels and the throat, for God's sake, and the knees. And Harrison's feeling that shit. She's fine with it. She is fine with it right now. Oh, 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 yo, no way. Twerking moonsault by LaJonda Harrison. Put some stank on it. Raven, how dare you embarrass me like that, says Raven. Off the ropes, big chance for Raven. Double time, triple time, LaJonda. In the end, catching the Fez press. Steve Austin style by Raven, raining out right hands. Yeah, I made LaJonda Harrison run for it. Hey, ref, come on. I know he's running. He didn't need to run all that way. It was a game pinfall attempt. Springboard cross body by Raven. Keeping it going, LaJonda, two minutes in, finds herself on the wrong end of the cue ball or something. Oh, man, there you go. Those short kicks, man. Those short kicks. Something to watch out for this year. Series of shots, no block by LaJonda Harrison. Nice elbow. Harrison catches one back, Raven. There you go. Little flying uh, hair pool takedown situation. Harrison rolls to the outside. Raven following up quickly. Will fly. Wild Sky Twister press off the top of the floor. And by the way, folks, she fucking biffed it. Trying to recover the embarrassment and the pain that Raven just felt. Oh no. Yeah, she's in pain, folks. Don't get it twisted. Harrison says, this match is mine. It's over now. Ref to five. What's Rolston gonna do? Look at this hair pull. It's just a straight hair pull. I think we're getting to six here. Yep, John Doe to six. Fighting it out towards the entryway. LaJonda pulling her up, pulling her back. Bird a breaker. Bird a Milligori special. Oh man, into the drop. To eight, and Harrison says it's over. Raven racing to her feet. She will break the count. She will get in. 
Latonda trying to bail on the action. Yeah, three minutes in, Harrison, I'm not sure. There's a kick, not a good connect. Hitting close to the arm, off the ropes. Springboard, nice, nice little dealio, backhand spring, flop. Gonna keep it going for yourself, Raven. You hit, didn't hit hard, but keep it going. What do you got? Taking Harrison into the corner, Raven, advantageous position. Putting with John Harrison on the top. Oh, man, vertical leap, hurricane run off the turnbuckle, into the pin. John Doe, how long does it take to get there? A deep two count, and I'd actually question that one. John Doe, fucking, he's already in position. He's just fucking standing there. I'm just saying, that's just me. Raven. Had a, having a good run here against Harrison. Look at Harrison, He's trying to get it back on her feet. Look at this, nice, oh, whoa! Holy shit, ab stretch, like an ab stretch bomb. What the hell, the hell do you do that? Need of the gut, series of shots, kick to the leg, shot to the leg. Lajana, full head of steam. Connor, faint, faint shot, reversal. Look at this, Lajana back and forth, flip flop, and that, nice. Nice drop kick, what a sequence. Yeah, and Harrison making Raven work for that punishment. Got Harrison says, I'm in control, backflip. Oh, what a knee! Raven got flopped on the big, on the backflip. Knee to the head. Harrison calculated next to him. There's the double stomp! The heel stomp! Count one, count two, she will move on! Yes, she will. Five minutes even. Five minutes even, LaJonda Harrison has done it. Nice hurricane run, standing hurricane run. What, now watch this. Ab stretch with the momentum, like, like a SOS. And that's the finish, the double heel stop right there. Heel first for the record. You could have counted the 10. The big thighs of LaJonda Harrison is the winner by pinfall in five minutes flat. Make sure you're stretching like a chocobo, especially if you're LaJonda Harrison. You just had a deeply physical match. You need to stretch. You are victorious. Give it up. Claps in the chat for LaJonda Harrison. 0 for 4, worst show ever. Congrats to LaJonda. Hey, all these people that you didn't want to win are now in the loser's bracket. So either way, someone you want to win will at least win one, huh? You know? Although the show has been excellent. You're the man. You're the, you're the fucking man, dude. That's why you're the fucking commissioner. Oh man, it's time for our main event. Very excited, very excited for this one. Mercedes Monet, we've seen her on the periphery. It's no secret, I'm not, I'm not telling, I'm not giving you any breaking news here. Mercedes Monet is here in Global Sport Council at the behest of Dave Meltzer, has arrived as a synchronous fucking little crew with the Young Bucks, and I want to say, Mercedes Monet, thanks for shouting out the Young Bucks in your latest, holy shit, what a terrible promo, promo. <laughs> I ain't Mercedes Monet, listen to, no, nobody, oh, I'm going to do an interview and talk about how WWE was like, we don't want you to do Star Wars and we don't want you to have your own action, but no, 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 no. Yeah, because it was a hollow fucking endeavor. It's like being the rock on Deep Space Nine, except they're gonna make a fucking, you know, yeah, it, it was shit. Your role was shit. Your performance was shit. Uh, my, my Star Wars name is Skirty McDirty. Like, nobody gives a fuck. Nobody fucking cares. All right? Mercedes Monet, this tournament is for you, my lady. You go one-on-one -on -one against California Collective Shotzi Blackheart. All right, someone that has, uh, achieved more than you in this league. How many titles has Mercedes Monet won in this league? How many titles has Shotzi Blackheart won in this league? All right. Is Shotzi Blackheart a nasty, cankerous bitch? No. Mercedes Monet is a nasty, cankerous bitch. I got two fucking titles. I got two fucking titles. I got the third tier belt from this one. I got the second tier belt from... Oh, 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 I'm back, I'm so good. No, man, no, no, like, oh, I'm a NJPW Women's Strong Champion. And I want to also give a shout out to New Japan Pro Wrestling for making the strong, the Women's Strong title, uh, making that in Andrew's Purple, much appreciated. 
very appreciated. Shotzi's gonna uh, show Mercedes Monet exactly where the business is and where the buck fucking stops. All right, Mercedes Monet, along with the rest of your shit ass motley crew. All right, soon, soon to be phased back out so we can get back to real fucking business. Yeah, let's fucking go, man. No, not the stopwatch. The game. Everyone drink some beer! Yeah, man, I gotta run more. I gotta run. There ain't no fucking way, man. Ain't no fucking way. Callie Edwards is on the poster, and she still lost her match. How is that possible? Because this is real life competition. Oh, man! Real life competition predetermined shit. This is for real, and this is the final first round match in the 2024 Summer Breakout Tournament. Approaching the ring first from San Diego, California. She weighed in tonight at 141 pounds. She represents the California Collective. Shotzi Blackhawks. Taking care of business. Yeah, Shotzi's sitting on a loss this year. She went one-on-one -on -one with Violet Rose, and she lost decisively. According to Violet Rose, that's how things are gonna be going. And she says, and I quote, line them up. Line them up, is what she says. Shotzi knows she's got more in her. She knows she can do better. A double elimination tournament to prove it tonight. One on one against what some would say one of the greats of this era. Yeah. I bet you Shotzi and some partner did beat Sasha Banks. Mercy. What fuck is this? Uh -oh. Can we get a CEO chant in the chat? Ugh. Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. And her opponent from Washington, D.C. or, I don't know, Boston. Boston, Massachusetts. Yeah, she, she mainlines Boston. Representing this consortium. She weighed in at 126 pounds. Mercedes Monet. Now we see Mercedes Monet make it to the finals of the 2022 Summer Breakout Tournament. That's when she was brought into the California Collective. That's when she was expected to truly become a global superstar beyond like so many others have in this league. Yeah, she's, oh, there's, oh, that's it? All right, let's go. Final first round match. I think we're all rooting for Shotzi in this one. Monet, and I have to, I'm contractually obligated to refer to her as Mercedes Monet. Getting caught early, there you go. Nice spin a rooney neck breaker situation. You just call it a spinning neck breaker, that's fine too. Off a little misdirection, multiple kicks. Yeah, no love lost, definitely. Mercedes Monet and Shotzi Blackheart were a short-lived tag team. They were, short, they were associated with each other. And Monet, look at that, double arm stretch. Very nice by Blackheart. Monet was supposed to she was either supposed to, A, set an example and teach Shotzi Blackheart something about main event competition or fail, or fail doing it, and she failed. And she left Global Sport Council to chase mediocrity in AEW. What a splash! What a splash! <laughs> Referee Jane Doe laid as fuck to the count. I wouldn't have expected the end, but that was a hell of a splash. Yeah, Monet failed. And abandoned forever, finally, Sasha Banks pursued mediocrity in New Japan Pro Wrestling, AEW. She's paper. She's paper. A lot of paper. But still a paper-ass champion. And uh, can I just say, great job by whoever uh, made this Mercedes Monet fucking costume. The hair is, uh, like, really done well. Unfortunately, it still looks like fucking shit. Most, oh, oh, oh no, look at this, double stretch. Into the pin, stacking 
her up. Now that was a sneak right there. And almost two minutes in, Mercedes Monet is uh, struggling, struggling. Taking some time off in the ropes. Shotzi assessing her options. Offs for some leg kicks. There you go, yeah. Unabated, unguarded, three in a row. Monet getting taken down. Nice short arm DDT. Transfer, Fujiwara armbar. And I think just enough to keep Mercedes Monet in pain and guessing what's coming next. Blackheart in control. The duration of this match. Setting Monet off the ropes. Drop down Monet back. Ducks the clothesline. Monet for a third. Will hold. Neutral position. Banks with a Monet rather with a head of steam. Hitting a couple. Yeah, okay. Yep, yep. We've seen that. You stole Raven's deal. You stole. Or Rolston's deal. One of the two already did it a couple matches ago. Banks kicked to the gut. Straight jacket, neck breaker. Hey, wait a second. Wait a second. We've done seen that. Single leg trip. Monet looking to take control. They shot for the leg. I don't know. Her. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Straight up. Straight up into the bank statement. Hold. No backstabber. Just straight in. She's tired of the bank statement. Just the Monet hold. It's just a cross face, though. It's, it's a cross face. But that is her move. Kick the gut. Oh, man. Looking to drive Blackheart down hard. Nice escape by Shotzi. Jawbreaker out. A moment of respite. Orlando! Full sale. Going wild for Shotzi. One of their own. Coming up through NXT. Same as Shotzi, Sasha Banks. Ha <laughs> ha. I can't. You'll find me. Find me, Meltzer. Fuck you, man. Yeah. Monet. Getting rocked in the corner. Into the pin. Come on, Jane. Get into the count. Count two. Banks is going to be out at two. Plenty of time to rest. I would have expected her out at two. But those extra couple seconds to sit there and think about it. All right. Can change the momentum of a match. Please see exhibit A right here. Monet hanging and Blackheart. Out that dry right there. Worst ref part. This whole season is worst ref. At least they're consistent with their shittiness. You know, I, I will say that. Simpkins, Turner, they all suck. Maria. Maria didn't fuck up too much. Ken's K. Maria. Gregory Bryant. No, you, you know, Gregory Bryant had that one. Looking across the full ring. Had that fall. Oh, Monet go. Yeah, look, out at one. Yeah, your shit don't matter. Remember that whole big scrum? That whole big scrum with eight women? That's a Ayakashi one. Look at that. Caution to the wind. Well, there you go, Monet. There you go, Monet. I'm still going to finish my story at the expense of your spot. Gregory Bryant counting that pinfall for all the way across the ring, outside to outside. Couldn't see shit, but still counted the three somehow. Tiger shoot, Black by Blackheart. They're going out of the ring. Nice senton splash. Yeah, Monet taking it to the outside. Shotzi saying, bring it, bitch. This is Mercedes Monet's. First match in season four action. Of course, we thought she was done with the league. We thought the Bucks were done with the league. Well, yeah, Monet just waiting for it. If I was Shotzi, I would have, I would have played a little game. Oh wait, she's fine, folks. She's fine. Nice code breaker. Staying in control is Shotzi Blackheart. Might be putting the finishing touches at a second Tiger Suplex. This time in the ring, Monet landing on the back of her head or neck. In a bad, bad way. X Factor! Oh man! What a shot by Blackheart! She's running! She's running a gambit! Selena Del Sol! Oh yeah! Destino style takedown! At what point? Don't go to the well too many times, Shotzi. Gonna send her to the ropes. Nice sidewalk slam! Very nice! Little diving action in it. After a flurry of offense! Into the pin, count two, Banks out at two. Yeah, yeah, of course, right out at two. What a flurry by Blackheart. Monet, it means everything to her, right here, right now. This is a win or die situation for Mercedes Monet. That, I will say, back on the outside. Now, that was a Sasha Banks-esque shitty clothesline, I will say. In the meantime, though, pulling the hair back. That was a snapback. Oh, neck breaker on the outside, and Sasha Banks 
may have found a crack in the defense in the strategy here. Blackheart trying to keep it her way. Oh, taking Monet into the barricade. Rushing the set. Pulling her again. There you go. Cause the pain. Keep the pressure. Referee Jane Doe's count continues on the outside of the ring. There you go. Kick her in the fucking face, Blackheart. Seven moves and she kicks out. Not just kicks out, but kicks out at fucking two on the Dizot. You know, not two and a half, not two and three quarters. Oh, Shotzi, she just broke the count there. And I, I, she wants to put some real hurting on Mercedes money. Oh, there, oh no. Oh no, the clam getting jammed right there with that double foot to the uh, lower pelvic extremities of Sasha Banks. Oh no, oh, no. oh fucking, oh God. Three amigos, series of three suplexes, a la Eddie Guerrero by Mercedes Monet. I don't know if you knew this, but Mercedes Monet, uh, she fancies herself an Eddie Guerrero like fucking sequel. She, she'll do the frog splash. She'll do. No, man. No, no, Mercedes. That ain't for you. I've been wanting to say that shit. It makes you look like a fucking mark. And Shotzi beating her ass again. All right, the what, a four? Let's get it in. Let's get it in the ring here then. Mercedes trying to rush on Shotzi. It wasn't enough. Into the corner. Nice knee. Shotzi still in control. The deep waters of this match, man. And Shotzi, she might have Mercedes Monet in the drop zone. Here comes a stage dive. Yeah, oh, man. Mercedes trying to roll away from it, still got caught. Kel one, Taboo one, two. Mercedes is out. Mercedes is out. Shotzi moves on. Mercedes Monet. Welcome to the new era of Global Sport Council. Oh, straight dragon neck breaker. Bitch, we already seen it. Nice Salida Del Sol. By Shotzi, here we go. Hitting it quick. Hitting it quick because Mercedes was trying to roll off. But my friends, in 8 minutes and 42 seconds, the winner by pinfall, Shotzi Blackheart! Give it up for Shotzi, let's go, baby! Put your uh, howling wolf emojis in the chat right now for Shotzi. Moving on to the second round. The California Collective, Shotzi Blackheart, making a, keeping the statement going. Okay, we're talking about power. We're talking about prestige, man. Big money moves. Decided in that ring, man. I mean, for real. Yo, thanks, bro. Commissioner says it's a fun show. I much appreciate that. Let's, um, hold up. There we go. Let's get this good. Oh, I forgot to do LaJonda and everybody. All right, LaJonda moving on. Can I, whoa, what, what happened? Control A, and Raven moving down here. All right, so what we have then is LaJonda Harrison taking on Shotzi Blackheart in the second round. I'll fix it, I'll fix it. Harrison and Blackheart in the winner's bracket. Mercedes Monet. I can't wait to tell you this. Thanks for coming. Moves down to the loser's bracket. We'll face uh, Raven for the right to continue. One more loss for anyone on that bottom ass corner. And they're out of this tournament. They are out. There is no more vying for the all-star title, man. This one right here. All right. And you see right up above here, Rolston O'Grady. In the winner's bracket, Harrison and Blackheart finishing the winner's bracket. We might be on tomorrow, so stay tuned. 
Keep an eye out. Oh wait, uh, the camera's over here. God damn it. We're gonna. We'll see you maybe tomorrow. I had fun. I hope you guys had a good time too. We'll see you next time, brother.